Okay, here we are going to request a certificate for our the MS1 server. Okay, we are going to request a certificate for our MS1 server. So we are going to log into our MS1 server. Let's go ahead and select this. Control Alt Delete. Let's enter our password. And once server manager gets started up, we are going to go over to tools. All right, I don't know if you've noticed, but our different servers have different roles. And usually we can manage the features and the services of those roles by going over to tools under server manager. Okay, so we are going to select internet information services. Okay, this is a web service. IIS is a web service. This is one of those web services that allows us to create a website. Okay, so in the connections pane, we want to select MS1. Okay. And when this pops up, open the server certificates. Okay, just scroll down all the way to the bottom and then select server certificates. Okay, and now in the actions pane, we want to create a domain certificate. All right, because we want a certificate that we can use on our domain, on this 515 support domain. So let's select this. And just be patient with it, it'll pop up. Now we are in the process of requesting a server certificate. Okay, so the common name, the name for the certificate that we are requesting is this. Right. In the other fields, we are going to use this. There we go. And select next. All right. So for the online certificate authority page, we are going to select this CA. Okay. Whoops. I meant to click the friendly name. So let's use this name here and select finish. See how simple this process is? Seems like a lot when you're reading it in the book. But this is how simple a certificate authority behaves, right? Right now we're requesting a certificate. Okay, what is this process called? The CSR. All right, so our certificate should have been granted and it looks like it is. So we are going to go to the next section all right, now we're going to bind this certificate to secure HTTPS port on a website. Okay, so we're going to bind this certificate to our services running on HTTPS. So what we're going to do inside of the same panel that we in that we are in the IIS manager, we're going to go to sites, which is right here under MS1. If you can see where my mouse is. We're going to expand this out. Right click on default website and select whoops and select edit bindings. All right, now we're going to add one. Remember, we're about to, we're going to bind this certificate we just created. So in the host name, 
What host name are we going to give it? You guessed it. Now we're going to wait, make sure we got everything right. Okay. So whoops. All right. So we actually have the wrong one selected actually. So we're going to remove this. Let's remove the one we just created. We were supposed to use HTTPS. We're not supposed to bind this certificate to HTTP. So I'm going to select HTTPS. I'm going to update that here. And then from this, I want to select this certificate we created. Okay, this was a domain issue certificate. Okay, so what we're doing here is binding our certificate to the services we are running on HTTPS. What services are we running on HTTPS? A web service. So now when individuals or end users on our domain that are connected to our domain, this domain right here, when they visit our website, we can create an encrypted tunnel based off of public certificates, okay? Now let's select okay. Okay. Um, oh, we should have, we might have, we, we should have just removed both of them. So let's remove this in the site bindings dialog. Let's remove the HTTP. Yes. Okay. Now we can close this out and let's switch over to our domain controller. All right. Let's switch over to our domain controller and I will see you on the next activity.